arcade. Yeah, arcade were, were pretty popular back in the day, 80s. In, in Finland there were like two arcades, because uh, le legislation, the, the, the legal, legal issues with the arcades. Because they may they were money games. Give me back my money, you piece of shit! So we didn't have an arcade culture like uh, in the states. Hey, this shit is rigged. That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. He's pretty really blunt. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. So then we find some ev evidence to give us reason to enter Fritz potato chips. Buff fizzy drinks. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? Stay in school. Children should not skip school. It is important for them to attend every single class. I stop listening after should. <laughs> I didn't know you had such amazing colors. And there's not one but two of you? From now on, I promise, I will cherish you more often. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real life TJ laser? You are so <laughs> TJ laser. shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so all right, all right. Uh all of the arcade staff will sell to you. As long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm uh -huh. broke. But I have a great idea. You you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! I think he understands. Bro, way. TJ laser. Is that the ocean? Okay. Kids don't do drugs. I think we have a reason to enter Open now. Door. I have the warrant. Oopsie, I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. <laughs> and he's flying. Okay. Now he's dead. It's Robocop! Surrender your weapons.
Okay, he held back. Stolen jewelry. Oh, they are brewing up uh, major crimes here. What's this? Oh, I can grab this. Say new color get lost. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they were playing some game here. Extreme new king sick checks and illegal show, same time, same place. Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? No. Well, who am <laughs> I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo. Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant. And don't you dare open that door. I'll shoot you. You two are not real torchheads. True Torchheads are fearless fighters, never afraid to face the enemy. We are fearless fighters! Don't listen to him. He's playing you. I wonder what Soot will think once he learns about your cowardice. Grab some nuke! We'll show you our warrior flame! Hell yeah, let's make it burn! No, you damn fools! <laughs> yeah. Tell me, where can I find Soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? You could get your sentence reduced if you cooperate. Yeah, but if word gets to Soot, he won't do business with me again. Once <laughs> I am done with him, he will not be doing business with anyone. <laughs> That's a good point. I think we've got a deal. They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. And is to learn how not to lose their money. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man! Suppose he's hiding in the trash bin over there. So, um, hmm.
So uh, what, what you gonna do? You, you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. D just let me off with a warning, will ya? You are being fined $100 for the violation that you have committed. Are you crazy? I, I don't work. How am I supposed to pay for this? Failing to pay may result in serious consequences for your guardians. <laughs> okay. You made an enemy out of the graffiti artist. Okay. That's an uncool move you pulled right here. I'll make sure everyone in the hood knows your score. Find the police informant, okay. Oh shit! It's a metal storage head to a bird! You need alive. to be taught some methods. Ouch. Ouch. That was pretty... ...unfun. an entrance I wonder if the assault rifle is any better. Probably not. Anything else here? Head off. Big machine gun, boys. Had me. Usually in games, I'm, I'm, I'm the assault rifle guy, but this seems to be like Robocop uh, pistol is pretty nice. Can we get that? Detox heavy machine gun. Oh no.
ID card. Okay, so this is... Jump down to elevator shaft, okay. Find the police informant, okay. I would need a vitality too to they take your energy out of the high voltage cable. Okay, that's probably Okay, he was waiting behind. No, nobody there. Ah, I can breach. Hits, but hits the spot. Okay, they had luck. Ah, big gun here. No wonder. Anything here? Did I came here? Okay. This probably way we can escape. That's my thought on the matter. <laughs> Machine gun in hostage situation. Oh no. The police informant. Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions. But uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. Well, I just saved you, so... What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> That's actually a great point. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their... Ah, team. okay. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis. Such is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I 
went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, a good business is where you find it. Since they have been like growing interest on the, on the Operation Flashbot game. Free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me, I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas, but so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say, you can only serve one master. Yep, that's true. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. The last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting in trouble. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're <laughs> a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Okay, so we are, we are going to return to... Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Okay, Let's get he's teleported here. This okay, he's... Burning a hole in my pocket. So he's living, living here. I suppose somebody might have happened to his house and family. Seems that this game doesn't a shy on one. certain subjects. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people. And I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch? Like steal a watch. Uh, what on three card? Okay. So I need the reason to go in in there.
Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. <laughs> I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Okay, what's are your you reasoning? Any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body. Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me. But maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances. Even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. Salt of the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. Detroit against the addiction program. So he's trying to get pickles to t treatment. Okay, so very small apartment. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is, is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Crime. Okay, so this is a crime scene. 
Oh no. Bummer. He's not here. Maybe these guys saw him. Okay. He's not. Good evening, citizens. I need. Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. You are not the only ankle breaker on this basketball court. <laughs> and I'm letting you off easy. I've seen him do way worse for less. Shit, I, I, I was just messing with you. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. <laughs> I see a couple of drawings over there. So, crime scene. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Chalk train, okay. Oh man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. Time to repent. Open the gate. We didn't go through the gate this this time. Hmm. Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? You should be somewhere around. Shoe print, size seven. That's gotta be his. Here. Must have found something more interesting. Okay. But this is what we found earlier. So now we just what the fuck? Follow the gunshots. We better hurry. Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up. He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! No. It's the cops. For jail for this shit? Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, <laughs> it 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 robo cop. What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Sorry. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing. So he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone's got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say you okay. are knuckleheads. Yeah. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know? Why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Cause he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. 
He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? <laughs> right. Right, okay. <laughs> late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Okay. H happy ending. Basically. Except that we, we need to find the, their, hey, his father. On the old I have to take care of something. Hmm. No idea. Let's let's continue again. Yeah, I need to fail that mission. So I, I like this free roaming mission. Was was fun. Lots of side quests, interesting 80s style plot lines. So yeah, developers have been doing a good good work. And and some police work. That actual police work. I think the movies might have been likely really, really skimpy on, on the real real police work. The fact that Robocop is actually a police and this is where so, this is not hiding. just shooting bad guys. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. Uh -huh. At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junky friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. I can't hear any music. Was this supposed to be a private show? Let's head up those stairs. We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead, partner. Okay, the door is open, so let's go. Let's go. This is this is handy. Ooh. Okay. Stench. Someone missed potty training. I suppose shouldn't we have like reasonable doubt? already well yeah well probably not new king if Sid is such a great performer shouldn't there be a big line in here we 
Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. Wait, I think I can hear something. Maybe your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Yes, I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, shit! Pig found our lap! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps. Okay, two at the one go. Operator, this is Lewis. Me and Murphy discovered a torch head's nuke lab at the old slaughterhouse. Multiple subjects were neutralized, but there are still active Get closer. I'll support you from the balcony. This music is driving me mad. Is that the point? Is it supposed to make you mad? Probably. So our, our bad guy is a rock star, basically. So we need to shoot the whole disco. Civilian killed. Oh no. Restart wants to take point. Us talk. Stay the fuck away. You can't touch me. I do business with the new guy. You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me. Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant. Then get ready for a meltdown. You think you're gonna... Ah, that's quite a grip you got there. Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> Knock your 
yourself out. That's not even mine. Interrogate's good. Okay, so how do we miss? Stress level. <laughs> okay. So, do you want me to do the same thing to this chair? I'll never rest Guitar. until every pig in Detroit is dead. That's enough. I'll talk. I need to break all his guitars. Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Would you rather hear it from the man himself? Oh. Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside. Right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. So why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Oh no. <clears throat> hey! What the hell are you doing now? You are coming the with me. Is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. <laughs> I need some flu. Of course it was on the Play by everywhere I look, I see nook, nook, nook. Yeah, he's not a great singer. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Huh? Is your battery drained or something? Why don't you hurry up? What's wrong? Piggy scared on Facebook? <laughs> okay, new I'm guy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, sus. sus. I think it's Suspicious. time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never. He 
it's in th inside What's his head. Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. Brother. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, you've been given this great. Ah. Uh. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, oh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Okay, I kind of called this. Okay. Let's kill the main characters from the movies. Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switch him back on already. Lewis! Whoa, Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. Yes, he's in the what hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not going to happen. Instead, you're going to go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. So, doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. Okay. He's, he's going to still work. You're, I'm sorry. He's practically a piece of equipment. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My directives tell me to uphold the law, not to sit idly by. And I'm here to help you do that without any unwanted complications. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I am not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? 
I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. They call me Robocop. Uh, well, uh, I am Alex Murphy. My name is Alex Murphy. Then I'll call you Alex Murphy. Okay, she I've will remember that. police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences. But I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? But human part machine. Uh, these are all pretty good answers. I'm a police officer who was killed in the line of duty. I was given a second chance and resurrected inside this metal shell. Clinical death and waking up in a body that is not quite yours is a first for me too. In a patient, that is. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No, not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand, you must have wondered what happened. And she has a Some prosthetic ago, hand. I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. And Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized uh, My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear malfunctioning machines? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Alex Murphy. Okay, I didn't find the arcade owner connections. I didn't find the all all violations. A, a class, class, class work. Three skill points. Okay. Now I'm I'm free to go. Take the auto nine motherboard. Now it's upgrade time. Robo, there's something I need to show you. I know that OCP can be a real pain in the ass, but this might change your mind a bit. We've been working behind the scenes on giving your sidearm the treatment it deserves. The Auto 9 can now be equipped with a motherboard. Once the motherboard is in, you'll be able to mount a number of processors on it. Each processor can vastly improve your aim, damage, or stability. See for yourself. Okay, so th this is a bit like in Dead Space. Avoid the red components reducers.